who is showing that energy that is connected to his game on both ends of the floor. Arizona State opened the year with the win over Rhode Island, playing both games. Potential of Marcus Bagley, and for a big player, Eddie, he has great outside touch. Yeah, not only is he athletic, he can stretch the floor and not game. They open trailing 19 to two. Better start clearly here at Arizona State. Martin, got it! Five feet behind the three-point line, you have to guard him as soon as he crosses half court. Bobby Early thrilled that Martin came back for his senior year after considering heading to the year from Houston. Now playing for his third school after starting his college career at Lafayette. Good pace to this one, and that was the offensive approach with Graham Screen. And Jalen now will work his way into the lane. Martin the kick out. Bagley for three, and he buries it. Clearly, they would have moved on to the field of 68 last year if we had an NCAA tournament. Thanks in large measure to what Remy Martin did. Uh, team leader, um, he does it defensively and offensively. Now, I like how he started this game, getting his teammates involved, and then now he's trying to look for his own. How about Christopher turning defense into offense? So many shots on his way to the 35-point effort against Arizona 92. That's a well-designed sequence. Finding cash from Saddle with the two fouls will stay on, as Eddie noted. Graham working baseline up and under, and he spins it down. Talk about Remy Martin putting the work in. Same story for Graham. He has bulked up considerably. Well, it's been a slow start for Bagley, but he's got plenty of help in the paint. He's looking to do special things in the senior season. Woods with the steal. Lays it off four. Kamani Lawrence and Arizona State has asserted themselves. Athletes everywhere and guys that can score anywhere. Once more, excellent ball movement, finds the open woods, and he nails the three. Montana, so he is certainly capable of big things on this end of the floor. Graham backing down, now faces up and rattles it in. And it'll be in a win over Duke. Would have been phenomenal to see them in the NCAA tournament. Of course, that did not happen. Boothman, the Arizona native, welcome home. It's too late. Good shot by Boothman, good play by HBU. Who was all states last year, averaged 26 points. The House family gets involved. Jalen, who did not able to find his shot, it's going to be hard for him to stay on the floor. Eight Arizona State players have tallied. And the ball movement has been sensation. The Jet Smith and Kenny Anderson. Shot not there for Boothman, and another transition look for ASU House. Catch and shoot, his father must like that. I wish I was working with him and for that pivotal three-point play. And you gotta always have a guy like that on your team who doesn't need plays called for him, doesn't need the ball to be effective. On and right there, the oh, he C knifes his way, but cannot finalize up the floor. Christopher. And we knew that ASU had the dilemma of replacing Romello White in the paint. Austin's going to be part of that team of looking to follow his own miss. Kicks it out with another rebound. Style points on his way to the bucket. And it all started with their defense. They turned up their defensive intensity, and HBU hasn't been able to answer until right then. And I know Christopher can score, but... I just love when that ball moves around. You can get that shot anytime. You can get it at the end of the shot. Division one basketball. Isn't that something? Coming all the way across the world to play his college basketball. And that wing, they're so athletic. It's going to be hard for teams to match up with their athleticism. And then in the half court, just move the ball because the same thing is, same results can happen. Remy Martin creating. And I for the rebound, Castro up the floor. Dalton reversal. Yeah, Christopher is extremely athletic, uses the other side of the basket to negate the shot blocker. Arizona State a year ago averaged 74 points. Remy Martin was instrumental in not limping through that door. Inside five minutes remaining in the no first No time half. soon. Brian Weber, <laughs> Andy House with you. Dalton for three, and he knocks it down. I put on Twitter. Four minutes remaining, defense leading to the offensive opportunity to count. 
this magnificent first half. Active hands, getting steals, getting out in transition. A three, and that's driven down. But back to Duke's magnificent run, 91-92, and Bobby, the most outstanding player of that final four. It has been a showcase. Three, four, Kamani Lawrence, that's not necessarily his game. He had a real shooting slump a year ago, but Arizona State continues to dictate the terms, and House is having a nice game. Go here at Arizona State. Who's going to take this last shot for ASU? Christopher lost the handle. Bagley open for three, and that is a fitting conclusion. Change once more. A team trying to live up to lofty expectations. Christopher, another flush. He's Ned Walk, head coach. Jumping Joe Caldwell and his teammates as Gomes missed the hook. The kick out from Bagley. Corner three is there for Cherry. Wondering how Josh Christopher is wearing. 13 this year. Harden signing off. Because game recognizes game, and he buries the three. Cool, because it reflects their favorite Bible verse from the book of Psalms. So 13 has much more meaning for Josh Christopher than just the linkage to Castro to Dalton. He's trying to work through that Lee screen. He goes the other way. Finding Bryson Long. And Bryson Long knowing where to get the shot, stayed in the corner, anticipated that Dalton was going to drive and kick to him, and that's exactly what happened. Back the other way, Remy Martin of that multi-team tournament, but COVID issues prevented Baylor from heading to Connecticut. Dalton on his way to a three-point opportunity search engine. If you're wondering about the most points in a single game for ASU, got to go back to 1962. See on the drive clock. So that was a good day for Arizona State. Best game of the Bobby Hurley era, 127. 127 points scored against Citadel in 2016. Nobody else touching the basketball, not moving the ball and moving your bodies. Again, don't fall into the trap of getting too comfortable because you have this big lead. Average 26 points, six assists last year in the greater Phoenix metro area. Lawrence chiming in after he had a productive first half. That's nine for Kamani coming back from. <laughs> I think you know what you're talking about. Dalton nearly had it. Lawrence drops it down. There's a mental mental aspect of having to raise your intensity for a conference game and then human nature says you might drop off a little bit house that was a lot of contact no whistle Dalton stood his ground EA Yemi be Hurley to utilize as he continues to not only coach in game but have those hard practice sessions prior to the Cal Rage game. He's got 17 points. Again, at that pace, and we've seen that a lot today from Bagley. 2008, at number 18, highest ranked Pac-12 school. Boothman with the assist for the Territorial Cup. Unfortunately, Herm's team unable to play since they lost that heartbreaking game. Graham faces up, matched up with McKenzie with the hook. Lawrence on the offensive glass puts it down. Another air ball for Caleb Christopher. Lawrence now has 13 points for the Sun Devils. That three knocked down by the Arizona native Boothman. Lawrence was trying to feed the post, couldn't hook up with Graham. Perimeter look. Pedro Cash, who, like Remy Martin, could have gone pro last year, came back for another year in Eugene, earned Pac-12 Player of the Year honors, and wound up being a first-round selection of the Boston Celtics. Palm Beach has only played 16 minutes in his career. Number 30 on the floor, lead to the goal. It's a three-point chance. Head coach and a key figure in ASU's recruiting success. Jalen House drops it down. Final minutes as ASU has effectively dictated every phase of the game. ASU led 65-31 at halftime. They're going to win it. 100 to 77, dismantling Houston Baptist in the home opener.